Welcome to Electron Line, and in this example we're going to see something very interesting. We're going to talk about the muon, which is a radioactive particle that only exists for a very short period of time. But actually by observing it, and by studying it, we can actually prove the theory of relativity. We can show through a muon that the time dilation is indeed a real thing. For example, the muon, which has a rest mass of 105.7 MeVs, which makes it about 200 times the size of an electron in mass anyway, in rest mass, we know that they decay after about 2.2 microseconds on average, which means any muon that's formed lasts only for about an average 2.2 microseconds before it decays. But the muons that come into the Earth's atmosphere from outer space, when they travel at very high velocities, they appear to last longer before they decay. And because of that, they travel a much greater distance through the atmosphere than would be predicted otherwise by the time that they normally last. So, it turns out that we observe, when they travel at a very high speed into our atmosphere, that they last for about 6.9 microseconds instead of the normal 2.2 microseconds. That's because in the reference frame of the muon, that's traveling at very high speeds, time will be 2.2 microseconds, and for the observer on the Earth looking at them, then moving at very high speeds, the time will be much greater. So we can say here that the time as observed by the observer on the Earth is equal to the time as observed by the muon, or somebody who would be moving along with the muon, divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. Or, by using the Lorentz factor, we can write that the time as observed by a is equal to the Lorentz factor times the time as observed by b. So, can we find the Lorentz factor based upon this? Of course we can because we have the relative time here. So we can say that the Lorentz factor is equal to the time observed by A divided by the time observed by B. So in this case, that would be 6.90 microseconds divided by 2.20 microseconds, which is equal to a ratio of, let's grab a calculator, so 6.9 divided by 2.2, and we get 3.136. So this is 3.136, which is the Lorentz factor. From that, we should be able to find their velocity. So we go to the equation right here, so we can see that the velocity is equal to the speed of light times the square root of 1 minus 1 over, and of course we would get 3.136 squared, so that's this equation right here, so this is equal to the square root of 1 minus 1 over 3.136 squared times the speed of light, because that's the way we want to write it. So let's square that number, take the inverse of that number, subtract that from 1, and then take the square root. And that shows us that the velocity of those muons as they come into the atmosphere is equal to 0 0.948 times the speed of light. And that's an example of the reality of the theory of relativity and the effect it has on things that move really fast. And that's how we do that.